101.9, Kink and Brandy Carlisle in the Bing Lounge. Well, here we are, finally. Here we are. <laughs> uh, a lot of people in the audience had tickets to see you um, in December, and uh, we missed you at the Mississippi <laughs> Studios. What what happened? I mean, it we kind of know. It was a sad know. day. I just, I just I got really sick. Awful. I know, but it was it had to be that second to the last show, didn't it? You know, yeah, just right, right when way. I was close to home. But um, yeah, just I woke up and was way too sick to to really get off the bus, and I went across the street and cried in my Thai soup and canceled <laughs> King, canceled my show, and and here I am feeling 100 percent now. So. Good, good to have you here. So I wanted to ask you about the uh, Mississippi Studios. You played the zoo last summer. Yeah, so I love the Portland Zoo. Yeah, that was a great show, too. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the Mississippi Studios was a very small venue. Yeah. What's up with that? Well, it's just I used to play it when we first started out. Okay. And so I like to make a point of at least uh, once every couple of years coming back to the little venues in the sort of northwestern area that me and the twins started playing in and revisit them. And uh, it's just I don't know. I'm a sucker for nostalgia, I guess. <laughs> That's good. You've been coming to uh, our uh, station for a number of years. You've done a couple of our holiday shows, too. And I wanted to ask you, uh, when you're here in December, about um, growing up in Washington and Ravensdale. Ravensdale, yeah. Yeah, I've never... I've lived, I grew up here, but I moved up to Seattle for 15 years and I, I've never heard of Ravensdale. Yeah, Don't there's me. not even a stoplight. I'm picturing, there isn't. <laughs> I'm picturing like, you know, sleighs and, you know, I mean, I, like a Courier and Ives kind of Christmas. What, what was Christmas like growing up for you? Oh, you know, really over the top. My parents, they still need to pretend that, that Santa Claus is coming. Them nice. <laughs> they do. They wake up before everybody else and they do stockings and they sort of unwrap the big gift and put a bow on it. And, you know, the whole thing, it's like, it's a thing they do. Pretty nice. They put Baileys in their coffee, though. Oh, there you go. less traditional. That's the key, isn't it? <clears throat> That's the key to yeah, a good if Christmas. If you don't have Thai soup, you got to go with the Baileys. That's right. Start drinking at 7 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> that works. Well, speaking of uh, presents, you've got a present coming out, a new album. Tell us about the new album. Oh, yeah. We made a new album that we're super proud of. Um, we really co-produced this one with a, a woman named Trina Shoemaker. She's amazing. She did. She was uh, Daniel Lemoyne's right hand for a long time. She worked on Emmy Lou Harris's Wrecking Ball, wow. and she produced uh, Sheryl Crow's Globe Sessions, which is my favorite Sheryl Crow nice. record. Um, she's just, she's amazing. So we, we worked with her in the Northwest, a place called uh, Bear Creek. And um, all our band and crew were there, sound personnel, everybody that we tour with was at the, at the studio. So I felt like it was the closest um, that we could get to capturing whatever it happens to us live when we're on the road. And uh, I'm really, really proud of it. And it's also very cross-genre, uh, genre-transcendent record. Nice. So excited about that. So when that does too. it come out? Uh, tentatively May. Okay. Early May. I've heard a uh, rumor of May 1st, but you never know with a major label, you don't want to say the wrong date. No, yeah. Don't say and anything to anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you just kind of got through with the tour, but is there plans to tour right after it comes out and through the summer? Uh, through the summer, yeah. But up until then, we're going to actually take a, a pretty substantial break. We're going to go run out and play Florida in uh, February for about a week because we, we haven't got to hit Florida in a while. But Get other some than sunshine that, in. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to go in our van, too, which is going to be very interesting. Nice. Well, I'd love to hear some more music from you. The title of the new album is going to be... We don't know yet. Oh. I'd like to call it Bear Creek because I think that the studio had a lot to do with how interesting okay. it is and stuff like that. But there's other... Twins have some other ideas. Nice. They're always a little too mystical. Let's hear some more. Brandy Carlisle in the Bing Lounge. <laughs> <laughs> 